Hello my friends, may God bless you. So today we'll be going to do the Bible study on the book of Micah. Today we'll be going to start from Micah chapter 2. It is regarding man's plan and God's. So if you can please continue reading with me and then you could get a much more clear understanding regarding these facts. Join with me for reading. Woe to those who plan iniquity, to those who plot evil on their beds. At morning's light, they carry it out because it is in their power to do it. They covered fields and seized them, and houses and take them. They defraud a man of his home, a fellow man of his inheritance. Therefore the Lord says, I am planning disaster against these people, from which you cannot save yourselves. You will no longer walk proudly, for it will be a time of calamity. In that day men will ridicule you, they will taunt you with this mournful song. We are utterly ruined, my people's position is divided up. He takes it from me, he assigns our fields to traitors, therefore you will have no one in the assembly of the Lord to divide the land by lot. And now we'll be going to read from Micah chapter 2 verse 6. It is regarding false prophets. Do not prophesy, their prophets say, Do not prophesy about these things. Disgrace will not overtake us. Should it be said, O house of Jacob, is the spirit of the Lord angry? Does he do such things? Do not my words do good? To him whose ways are upright, lately my people have risen up like an enemy. You strip off the rich robe from those who pass by without a care, like men returning from battle. You divide, you drive the women of my people from their pleasant homes. You take away my blessing from their children forever. Get up, go away, for this is not your resting place, because it is defiled. It is ruin beyond all remedy. If a liar and deceiver comes and says, I will prophesy for you plenty of wine and beer, he could be just and profit for these people. And now we'll be going to read from Micah chapter 2 verse 12. It is regarding deliverance promised. I will surely gather all of you, O Jacob. I will surely bring together the remnant of Israel. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. The place will throng with people. One who breaks open the way will go up before them. They will break through the gate and go out. Their king will pass through before them, the Lord at their head. So by this you could understand that God's plan is more than perfect than the man's plans. So now we'll be going to read Leaders and Prophets Rebuked. It is Micah chapter 3. Then I said, Listen you leaders of Jacob, you rulers of the house of Israel, should you not know justice? You who hate good and love evil, who tear the skin from my people and the flesh from their bones, who eat my people's flesh, strip off their skin and break their bones in pieces, who chop them up like meat for the pan, like flesh for the pot, they will, then they will cry out to the Lord, but he will not answer them. At that time he will hide his face from them because of the evil they have done. This is what the Lord says, As for the prophets who lead my people astray, if one feeds them, they proclaim peace. If he does not, they prepare to wage, our again, to wage war against him. Therefore night will come over you without visions and darkness without divination. The sun will set for the prophets, and the day will go dark from them. for them. The seers will be ashamed, and the diviners disgraced. They will all cover their faces, because there is no answer from God. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord, and with justice and might, to declare Jacob his transgression, to Israel his sin. Hear this, you leaders of the house of Jacob, you rulers of the house of Israel, who despise justice and distort all that is right, who build Zion with bloodshed and Jerusalem with wickedness. Hear her leaders judge for a bribe, her priest cheat for a price, and her prophets tell fortunes for money. Yet they, lean up, yet they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us, nor disaster will come upon us. Therefore, because of you, Zion will be plowed like a field. Jerusalem will become a heap of rubble. The temple hill a mound overgrown with thickets. And now we'll be going to read Micah chapter 4 verse 1 to 7. Micah chapter 4 verse 1 to 7. The topic is the mountain of the Lord. In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's temple will be established as chief among the mountains. It will be raised above the hills and peoples will stream to it. Many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. 
God will teach us His ways and we should always walk in His paths. The law will go out from Zion, the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He will judge between many people and will settle disputes for strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will not take up sword against nation, against nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Every man will sit under his own wine and under his own fig tree, and no one will make them afraid, for the Lord Almighty has spoken. All the nations may walk in the name of their gods. We will walk in the name of the Lord our God forever and ever. We should always walk in the name of our Lord our God forever and ever. And now we'll be going to read from Micah chapter 4 verse 6. We will be going to read the, those two verses 6 and 7. It is under the topic of the Lord's plan. In that day declares the Lord, I will gather the lame, I will assemble the exiles and those I have brought to grief. I will make the lame a remnant, those driven away a strong nation. The Lord will rule over them in Mount Zion from that day and forever. And now we'll be going to read Micah chapter 5 verse 1 to 4. It is under the topic of a promised ruler from Bethlehem. Marshal your troops, O city of troops, for a siege is laid against us. They will strike Israel's ruler on the cheek with a rod. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from, are from of all from ancient times. Therefore Israel will be abandoned until the time when she who is in labor gives birth, and the rest of his brothers return to join the Israelites. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord is God, and they will live securely for, uh, for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth and he will be their peace. In here it prophesies about Jesus Christ our Lord, the birth of Jesus Christ our Lord. And now we'll be going to read Micah chapter 6 verse 8. It is under the topic of the Lord's case against Israel. He has showed you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you to act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. He has showed us what is good and what does the Lord require from us, from you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Amen. And now we'll be going to read Micah chapter 7 verse 1. It is under the topic of Israel's misery. What misery is mine? I am like one who gathers summer fruit at the gleaning of the vineyard. There is no cluster of grapes to eat, none of the early figs that I crave. And now we'll be going to read Micah chapter 7 verse 9. It is under the topic of Israel will rise. Because I have sinned against him, I will bear the Lord's wrath. Until he pleads my case and establishes my right, he will bring me out into the light. I will see his righteousness. And now we'll be going to read Micah chapter 7 verse 18. It is under the topic of prayer and praise. Who is a God like you, who pardons sin and forgives the transgression? of the remnant of his inheritance. You do not stay angry forever, but delight to share mercy. Yes, my dear friends, if we search from universe to universe, if we search to the infinity, we cannot find someone like God. Amen. So we should praise him and thanks give to him, for he is great, he is majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, and working wonders. So if you have any questions regarding this Bible study or regarding in past Bible study, feel free to comment down below and I will provide you with the answers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the tomorrow's Bible study. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you today, tomorrow and always. May God bless you abundantly. Amen.